Hey, it's Chris. Hmm, been a while since I posted. I really gotta make something good. Maybe an Apple Pencil video? There's so many though. Gotta think, do I really have something new to share? Let's give it a whirl. Apple Pencil's indispensable for me, but there's still stuff I'm figuring out about it all the time. Like, I didn't realize until recently that inside Apple's Reminders app, I could just scribble out individual reminders to delete them. And then it's just a three finger tap to bring them back if I make a mistake. I also didn't realize until recently that I can use my Apple Pencil to quickly scroll through my recent quick notes. For that matter, I didn't realize I could use the Apple Pencil to swipe through all kinds of things in the interface. And look, you can swipe type on the little Apple Pencil keyboard that pops up on the screen. All right, all right, I think people are gonna learn something new here. Maybe I'll share some apps though, some apps that focus on handwriting. Defter Notes is gonna take your Apple Pencil to the next level. It's truly unlike any other app I've come across. It's for handwritten spatial notes. And as you can see from the preview here, it does things a little differently. It's got page stacks and PDF support, and you can zoom, rotate, and resize your entire virtual desk. There's also sticky notes, annotations, and lots more. I'm gonna link all these up for you down in the description. There's also Pencil Planner and Calendar Pro, which I did recently mention, but it fits perfectly into this video. So if handwriting your schedule appeals, then and this you have to check out. Card Notes is a handwriting focused notes app which is designed for the Zettelkasten method. What it does is use bi directional linking and a unique note card interface so you can connect your knowledge like building blocks. Now you've probably heard of Nebo before. It's been around for a while, it's really popular, but if it's been a while since you checked it out, you gotta check in again. The reason is it's got a ton of new features and it's an Apple Pencil user's paradise. Nebo has really unique responsive handwritten content that adapts to layout changes. It also has the ability to add emojis and symbols with your pencil, along with the ability to add interactive diagrams and editable equations, plus a lot more. And finally, Finally, it's well worth checking out the Spark Focused Work app, especially if you're looking for a full featured notes app that's great for handwritten notes and scribbling with your pencil, but also has tons of powerful focus and productivity tools and great widgets. Honestly, this one may be the notes app that you've been looking for. All right, apps are good, but I know people really like accessories, so I should probably include some of those as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about Apple Pencil accessories and rigging this thing out the right way. Let me just say, if you're watching this and you don't have an Apple Pencil yet, order it from Apple's online store. Why? Because there you're gonna get free engraving. If you just walk into the Apple store or Best Buy or something, you're gonna miss out. Now, a while back, I featured this pencil-like Apple Pencil case, which adds some extra grip, but I also wanna point out that Slick Wraps has some interesting Apple Pencil skins, which you can check out if you wanna spice things up a little bit. They're pretty cheap, too. And of course, Apple does sell a four-pack of replacement Apple Pencil tips, but I actually found a really interesting ballpoint pen-like tip, which really changes the feel of your Apple Pencil, and so far, it hasn't scratched up my beloved paper-like screen protector. Now, speaking of paper-like, I just wanna clarify something because people always ask me, Chris, how can you put a screen protector on that gorgeous 12.9 inch iPad Pro screen? And my answer to people is always the same. It's like, hey, you gotta optimize for what you use the most. So if you spend the majority of your time on the iPad watching HDR content, maybe you don't wanna put a paper-like screen on there. But on the other hand, if you're more like me and you're productivity focused and barely ever watch anything HDR, then you wanna optimize for what you do use the iPad for and for the Apple Pencil. And there's no better optimization in my mind than the paper-like because honestly, I don't even like using the Apple Pencil without the paper-like. By the way, I've made lots of iPad accessories videos in the past. They're all still really great. I'm gonna link up some of those videos down in the description so you can check it out if you're new around here. And if you are new around here, this is your annoying YouTuber reminder, but just hit subscribe. Okay, I got my annoying subscription reminder in there, but what can I talk about next? I know, Scribble, that's great. I wonder if people realize you can combine Scribble with artificial intelligence. All right, if you have an Apple Pencil, you probably already know about Scribble. It lets you write handwritten stuff that gets turned into type, and it even works when your handwriting goes outside the text field. And one of my favorite Scribble tips is that it works with text replacement. So if there's some particular phrase or thing that you find yourself writing or typing out over and over again on repeat, like an email response, you can head into settings and search for text replacement, and then you can go ahead and set up some shortcuts, which when typed or scribbled, will expand to be that whole phrase. I've got a demo set up here where if I type H-I-C, it expands to, hey, it's Chris, make sure you get yourself subscribed. So it was kind of fun to mess around with Scribble and Apple Notes, do a whole note with your handwriting that turns into typed text, right? So instead of using the pen tool, you use the handwriting tool. But while I do a lot of typing and note-taking in Apple Notes, 
there's no AI integration. I'm not talking about Siri. I am talking about Jasper, my favorite AI writing assistant. So with Jasper, I can scribble out a sentence of instructions, like write a blog post on the history of cold brew coffee, and then come down and tap on this compose button here, and the AI is actually gonna spit out the starting paragraph of a blog post about that topic. And if I want some more, I just hit compose again, and it'll spit out some extra content there. And of course we have full scribble functionality here. So if I wanna select a word, I can double tap it. If I wanna select the whole paragraph, it's a triple tap. Or if I wanna select a certain sentence, let's say, I just draw a line through it and it will select that sentence. I can also come up here in Jasper and say, explain this to a fifth grader and it will spit out whatever I've highlighted in a way that a fifth grader could understand. Or if I don't like the way something sounds, I can just highlight it with my Apple Pencil here and ask it to rephrase. It'll give me a different version of it. And I can do that infinitely until I find something that I like. Of course, I'm gonna link up Jasper for you down in the description. It's one of my favorite productivity tools. But let's do a quick scribble refresher. So don't forget that you can draw a line up and down to either add a space or delete a space in between words. And then as you've seen all throughout this video, if you wanna delete something, you can just scratch it out. Then you also wanna make sure that you don't ignore the scribble toolbar down at the bottom, because depending on what app you're in, it's gonna give you some different options, like the ability to insert a page break. That's where you're also gonna find the formatting options if you're using scribble, but you need to bold something or start a list. I see you looking at the wallpaper. You're wondering how did he get it? Where did he get it? It's a daily tech wallpaper. I'll link it up down in the description for you. There's a bunch that you can check out. And if you missed my video that teaches you how to switch your wallpapers and desktops with shortcuts like you're seeing right in front of your eyes here, you're definitely gonna wanna check that out as well. I'll make sure to link it up down in the description. All right, I should probably cover the settings. Now, I know everyone already knows about the double tap functionality, but in your Apple Pencil settings, the double tap options used to just be switching between the current tool and eraser or the current tool and the last used tool. But if you haven't checked in a while, there's also a show color palette option, which some people might prefer, but my favorite Apple Pencil setting to customize has to do with what happens when you swipe up from the bottom corners. Like right now, I've got a swipe from the left corner set up to start a quick note. And if I wanted to, I could change swiping up from the other corner to also start a quick note instead of taking a screenshot, or I could set them both to take a screenshot. Or maybe you just wanna switch things up depending on if you're left or right-handed, for instance. You should also notice there's an option to only draw with the Apple Pencil here. You can turn that on or off, and that just determines whether or not you can use your finger to draw or if it has to be the Apple Pencil. Okay, Chris, covered a lot here. You might as well just share a few more random tips here to wrap things up. I got another Apple Pencil setting that you can check for. I say check for because it's not actually in the default Apple Pencil settings. This is gonna change for you depending on what apps you have installed. Go into your settings and search for Palm or Palm Rejection, and you'll see whether you have any apps that'll let you tweak how they handle Palm Rejection. GoodNotes does that. A lot of people don't realize they can get in there and tweak that. And as you can see here, Procreate lets me come in here to Palm Support level. I can disable it or do you fine or standard mode. Also, you can just go into some of your favorite apps like Ferrite Pro. For me, that's a great Apple Pencil app for editing podcasts. And you might find some unique Apple Pencil settings for your own apps that way as well. I already made a whole video not too long ago about how you can get the most out of Apple Notes. I'm gonna link that up for you down in the description because there's a ton of Apple Pencil tips in there for you. And while I think everybody already knows that you can draw perfect shapes in Apple Notes by just hesitating a little bit at the end of your shape, I do wanna point out something that's kind of fun that I use all the time, which is to grab the lasso tool and select those shapes. And then while they're selected, you can just change the color that way. Also, let's make sure that you know that in Apple Notes, you can highlight something that you've selected with the lasso tool and tap on it. And you can say, copy as text, and you can go and paste that elsewhere. Or even easier, if you wanna select everything in your note, use that lasso tool and just tap and say select all. And then you can copy everything really quickly and paste it elsewhere, including to a different device. Apple continuity, right? Copy it here, paste it onto your Mac or your iPhone. I have to say, I was super late to the party, realizing that I could use Sidecar in mirror mode so I could see the same app on both the Mac and the iPad at the same time, but use the Apple Pencil to actually control the tools and palettes in the Mac app, something like Photoshop. That's really useful, right? Because normally I just defaulted to using Sidecar as an extra display for my Mac. Extend the screen, get extra screen real estate. Don't use the mirror mode, but it's kind of cool. Get yourself subscribed if you're new around here. Thanks for hanging out. Let's hang out on the podcast. You can get subscribed there as well. There's a fresh episode up. You don't want to miss it. I am going to be at WWDC, seeing what's new, checking things out, doing the press thing. So if you see me, come say, hey, if you're not going to be there, then make sure that you watch the video. I know there's at least a couple things coming up that we're all going to be excited about. 
Otherwise they wouldn't have invited me, right? I can feel it. My iPad sense is tingling. I know there's something good on the way. So get subscribed. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.